Good morning everyone, so today I am out to try this new driver which I became from the K and F concept. Uh, thanks a lot guy for sending me this tripod. Uh, I didn't try it before actually, I became it something like two or three days ago but I had to work. Today is the first day that I am going to try in front of you. Now actually I did open it at home and to try to, as you know, know it more and see all the specifications, see all the advantage of the tripod and the first impression or the first idea that I have or I had <laughs> on this tripod is that it's really so sturdy, so steady and it's better than my tripod that I was using. So what I what I'm going to do actually what I am sure that I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this tripod as my main tripod from now on and my old tripod with which I'm using right now I will use to make videos. Now the first thing I have to say actually I have to say the name of the tripod itself which I forgot to mention it's uh, SA254T1 this is the name of the tripod. The thing that I like actually the most about this tripod is the length. The length of the tripod is 240 centimeter with using the center column which is no one recommend using the center column because you will have maybe you will have a shaky photo that regardless which tripod you are using no one recommend you to use the center column. Now that is the good info that without using the center column only the legs of the tripod without using the center column is 172 centimeters. This, this is really so important because my old tripod if I uh, open the whole legs without the center column is something like I think 150 or 160 and if I want to take a photo like exactly like my length for example or exactly where the eye level I have to see to use the center column and in this method you will not definitely have a, a shaky photo but if there's a lot of wind and you will very highly have a shaky photo so this is actually the first thing or the first advantage that I will use this tripod for is the length of the tripod the biggest advantage actually of using this tripod is when you want to take a photo uh, very low near the ground because all of us have a problem with the center column. When we want to open the legs of the tripod the center column will hit the ground and you can't take your lens so closely near the ground. Other method that you may be able to use is putting your center column upside down and in this way you may be able to take the photo near the ground but the problem is that your camera will be like that and it's so hard it's so hard to make compositions as you know all the weight of your camera is upside down and that may cause a lot of shake to the photo and you can't really use the composition as you want the, the legs of the tripod is in front of your face and it's I, I try to make a lot of photos in that way but it's so hard and every photo I try I end with sometimes shaky photos or the composition wasn't as I want because I have problem with the legs which are in front of the lens or the lens when I want to change the composition to the right or to, or to the left for example the lens hit the legs of the tripod that's why it's really so hard now the other method that I have here which really so practical and I like it a lot I will show you right now I will do the same method that I was talking about I will put the center column upside down so as you can see now this is the center column I will put it upside down like that so this is the old method that I was talking about which is booting your camera like that this method can be really so dangerous you can hit your camera on the ground for example or maybe some water will hit your camera if you are taking a photos like that on the lake the very nice advantage that you have here you can so easily release this one here and now you can use your tripod like that as you can see like that now I am having my camera right here and if I want to go more than that I can so easily go down and as you can see I am I'm nearly about to touch the ground now only four fingers for the ground and I can so easily put my camera here 
and take a photo. As you can see, I'm not using the tripod on a normal way. Now I'm using the center column upside down and I'm still able to use my camera so easily and to put my composition so easily and to adjust the setting of the photo so easily just because of the situation of my camera it's really so easy to use now what i did in that photo is that i did a focus tag the first photo i was focusing here like always and the second photo in the middle of the trunk and the last one i want to focus to infinity so that in this method i i can be sure that my photo is totally sharp from the beginning to the end because even at the beginning of the trunk, at the beginning of the photo, at the bottom of the photo, I wanted it started to rain a little bit. I want it also to be so sharp. And what I forgot to mention about doing this photo is that I, I was using obviously the exposure delay mode and the timer because i only in this way in this in these two ways you i'm sorry but the rain is so hard, so heavy only in these two ways you can be sure that the photo will not be shaky at all uh, because as you can see now it started to be dark and my shutter speed was not so fast that's why i i just had to be sure that my uh, my photo is sharp so let's go back home because it started to be dark and on the other side the rain started to be heavy and i don't want to damage any of my gear so let's go back home and i will see you at home so hello again everyone i'm really so sorry for not being able to stay more than that i saw actually another photo there were a lot of small rocks with beautiful formation but the problem the, uh, the rain started to be so heavy and I didn't want to lose my gear. I didn't have actually any problem uh, for my flagging camera. I was putting it in, uh, under the umbrella, but I was afraid for the about <laughs> Nikon D90 and the Sigma lens. They were getting really so wet. That's why I just tried to make them dry, uh, dry again with a bit of cloth and put them again in my camera bag and went back home. Even after I reached home, I started to open all the legs of the tripod and I tried to make all, all of the small parts, everything uh, dry again because I don't want to leave it something like one week, for example, two weeks and want to use it again. This humidity will uh, damage the small parts of the tripod. That's why I tried to make everything dry again before putting it inside my uh, inside the bag again now i will try not to repeat what i have just said outside but really as you have just seen this new method helped me a lot to choose my composition freely to be free on putting my camera uh, on choosing the angle choosing different angle freely without having a lot of problem because the old method that i have just said putting the center column upside down and having your camera upside down it's really so hard to choose the composition i have to go down on my knees and i have back pain sometimes uh, this method helped me really a lot now as written in the description of the tripod it can hold till 10 kilograms which is fantastic for me as you know i am an icon d90 user the icon d90 is a crop frame camera it's lightweight not so heavy I can use, I think I can use any lens I want on my body, the Nikon D90 and using this tripod without having any problem. Now let's say that you are using, for example, the Canon 1DX or the Nikon D5. These uh, full frame professional heavy cameras and let's say you are using an ultra telephoto lens to, make, to take photos of bears, for example. I don't think this tripod will be suitable for you, but for me, any normal camera like the Nikon D90, which is not so heavy, and as I said, as it's written, until 10 kilograms, so it's not, I will not have any problem using my camera with any lens, I think. And that's why, as I said, will this tripod be my main tripod? Yes, this tripod will be my main tripod, and my main tripod that I used to use will be my, which I'm using right now to make video, will be uh, the tripod for my vlogging camera 
and this tripod will be my main tripod you will see it always in the coming videos you will see it as my uh, main tripod on the Nikon D90 I really like it a lot and it's really so sturdy and so steady I will mention actually only one thing which I came across as I was taking the photo which I don't like actually I don't know if there any other way to make it better in the coming tribals or I don't know I, I, I don't I don't know actually I will show you what I mean and I will tell you what I don't like let's put it upside down and I will show you exactly what makes me a little bit mad at making the photo so as you can see right now I'm having the Nikon D90 on the center column now the problem itself actually is the legs of the tripod and the center column itself if I want for example I'm taking the photo right now like that and I decided that I want to take the composition or I want to change the angle a little bit to the right now I can't because as you can see right here the center column is hitting the leg of the tripod and that's why if I want to change the composition right now I will have to take that to take my tripod and to make like that all the tripod together and that may take more time and that may you know change the composition in a big way I, I just want to make the center column a little bit to the right but I can't because it's sitting here the leg of the tripod that's why I started to think on, uh, on the location as I was taking the photo I want for example to to take the whole tripod and make like that but the problem is that I don't have a lot of space I have the, the leg and I was at exactly at the leg and I, I, I wasn't free with, with you know playing with the legs of the tripod and that's why I think for me this is a little bit a problem you can for example choose your composition decide that okay my composition will be right here and you can give yourself a little bit of space in going uh, right and left but if you put your composition exactly right here for example and you've decided now I want to go to the right you can't more than that this is actually the only thing that I I felt should be something else but other than that the tripod is really fantastic and I like it a lot the last thing I want to mention actually is making macro photos if you are addicted to macro uh, photos like me or insect macro photos this method will help you a lot because as you know making macro photos means 90% 99% you will go on your knees and you will go near the ground as much as possible so this method will I think will help me a lot in making macro photos when I want to make them on a tripod and not handheld with a flash it can help a lot in going near the ground without having any problems so easily so again my opinion and my last words this tripod will be my main tripod and I really like it a lot so at the end if you like this tripod if you want to take a look or if you decided you may get one you will find the link in the description below thanks a lot for watching this video please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye